Welcome back to the junk room, everybody. It's me, the junk man, coming back at you with a new video. What are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to do another video in the series of Unforgotten Toys. If you hadn't seen the other videos, check it out. Go to the playlist and watch some other forgotten videos. Forgotten video. Forgotten toy videos. And you'll see stuff about horror balls. Horror balls. And a lot more forgotten toys. But then again, if they're forgotten, how would anyone make a video on them? And how would anyone even care about... Why would anyone care about watching the video if they forgot all about it? Anyway, we're going to go back to 1985. That's when King Feature Syndication released a new superhero cartoon to compete with Super Powers, Super Friends, or all the other superhero cartoons that were out at that time. Now you're saying, this was... I thought this video was about toys. Don't worry, we're going to get there. They released toys to the cartoon also. But let's talk about the show first. In 1985, the cartoon release was called Defenders of Earth. And it had the greatest heroes in comic book history. The Flash, the Phantom, Rick Gordon, Ming the Merciless. Sounds like a wrestler if you ask me. Out of the sky, his rockets ignite. Gets into battle flying faster than life. Flash Gordon. Lord of the jungle, the hero who stalks. The beasts call him brother, the goes to war. Thank you. Defenders of the Earth. The premise set up in the pilot episode was Flash Gordon and his son Rick escaping from Ming the Merciless, who used up all the natural resources of his home planet and set his eyes on Earth. Ming tries to brainwash Flash's wife, Dale, but she resists until her death. Then, once she dies, her being or energy or something makes it into the Defenders' supercomputer. Then Flash and Mandrake the Magician organize the Defenders against Ming, or Defenders of Earth. Defenders of the Earth. Now, the show wasn't a big hit. It only had 65 episodes. I don't even remember this, and I thought I watched every cartoon on TV around 1985. Apparently not. Now, also in 1985, Galoob Toys released action figures based on this cartoon. Six action figures, and get this, six vehicles. It was almost like every figure had its own vehicle. Well, one of those vehicles is an animal, so I guess that's not technically a vehicle, but... You can have an action figure ride it. So let's take a look at Galoob 1985 Defenders of Earth action figure line. It's called Defenders of the Earth, you idiot. The Earth. What a better place to start than the original superhero himself, Flash Gordon. Leader of the Defenders of Earth. A space pilot and the father of the famous Rick Gordon. Lorthar. He is Mandrake the Magician's assistant and bodyguard. Not only is he a powerful fighter, he's a great mechanic. According to the package on the action figure, he's a Caribbean Ninja. Caribbean Ninja? That's gotta be the coolest title ever. I call myself the Junk Man, when I could have called myself the Caribbean Ninja. Let's get back looking at these action figures. The villain of the series, Mean the Merciless, had his own action figure. This super villain was bent on taking Earth's natural resources. He's probably one of the most menacing looking figures of 1985. Oh no, I'm gonna have to say this word. I don't know how to say it. Get ready to leave a comment and make fun of me for saying a word wrong. Get mad and outraged that I would say something wrong. Let's see. Garks. Garks. I hope I said that right. Just in case, I'm gonna use this time here so you can leave a comment saying I said it wrong. Don't forget to dot that I. Now, let's talk about that action figure. Garx is the leader of mean soldiers, called the Ice Robots. I guess he's kind of like the leader of the Stormtroopers for this action figure line and the cartoon series. Mandrake the Magician. This is a great looking action figure. I don't really know who he is. I don't know much about him, but I would love to have this action figure because it looks so cool. He can hypnotize and get them to do anything at his will. He was kind of the second leader to the Defenders of Earth. 
Although he dresses like a magician at the county fair, he's still awesome looking. And now the figure you've all been waiting for me to talk about, Phantom. Although he looks like a normal guy in a purple jumpsuit, he becomes a superhero when he chants, By Jungle Law, the ghost who walks calls forth the power of ten tigers. And apparently, according at least to the cartoon, this is the 27th Phantom. The power of ten tigers? He thought the Tiger King was badass. The, the Phantom is the badass of them all. So now let's look at the accessories that your action figures can play with. There's some good ones here. First up, we head to the Defenders. Claw Copter. It's like a helicopter, but with a giant claw. And you remember that Stormtrooper like dude whose name I couldn't say? He had a ship also, called Sword Ship. And look at little Timmy on the box. He sure is having fun. If there's any superhero in the history of superheroes that needs a superhero spaceship, it's the superhero Flash. And I know I'm not talking about that boring, stupid character that can run real fast. I'm talking about Flash Gordon. And he had his own ship too, also called a sword ship. Mirror this thing that Skeletor could drive around? You thought that was cool? Wait till you see this. Move over, land shark vehicle. It's the Crip Jaw. Whew, I would hate to get caught in that grip. What about the Phantom? He has to have something to get around in, right? Don't worry, he has something also. And boy is it cool looking. The Phantom Skullcopter. It's like a helicopter. But no, it doesn't have a claw. It has a skull for a head. This has to be the coolest design you'll ever see. If you're a racial stereotype demanding to take the Earth's resources, you need something to get around in. And this is getting around in style. Check out what Ming the Merciless traveled in or traveled on. It's Mongor, the evil serpent that would carry Ming the Merciless. I thought a metallic P. Gremlin was cool to drive. That would be awesome to ride around on. Whew, nobody would mess with me. They saw me going to the Green Stamp store and that, I can tell you. Anyway, there's one thing these action figures all have that I haven't mentioned yet. A punch action. All you had to do is twist the knob on the back, the very big knob on the back, and the action figure would throw a punch. Don't know why the knob was so big. It wasn't really needed. I mean, could have just a push button or something, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, that's a look at the forgotten toy line, Defenders of Earth. And I guess, in a way, a look at the forgotten cartoon series. Did you remember this cartoon series? What about the action figures? Be honest with you, I think they look pretty good. When I started researching this video and looking up these figures, I thought they were going to be cheap and corny looking, but they actually look pretty good, at least for 1985. I was very impressed with them. And you can find these on eBay for usually under $100 if you're looking to collect this line. So let me know in the comments below, did you have Defenders of the Earth action figure line? Did you know about them? And what about that cartoon series? Did you wake up every Saturday morning to watch it? Or were you eating your C-3PO's and watching Super Friends? Well, as always, thank you for watching. Thumb up my videos so you like my content. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back very soon. Talk again. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.